The Chinese word for population is made of two characters, one for people and one for mouth. This implies that we need to feed the population, as we will only exist as long as we can feed ourselves. By 2050, our population will rise to nearly 9.7 billion people. That's a lot more mouths to feed. We will need to produce much more food, but we will have limited resources to do so. So, we will need to treasure these resources. Unfortunately, we're already facing a host of problems. One third of the food we produce is being wasted, and nearly half of this food is food we could have eaten. There's lots of talk about food waste, but we need to understand the difference between waste and loss before we can move forward. Food loss is food that loses its quality during production and gets lost before reaching the consumer. For example, an apple that gets bruised during its trip to the supermarket. Poor apple. Food waste is food that was perfectly okay to eat, but is discarded due to our actions and decisions as consumers. For example, we throw away leftovers because we cook too much, or we confuse the best before date for the expiry date. Cities are particularly wasteful. Here in Hong Kong, we dispose the equivalent of 250 double-decker buses of waste every day. With all this waste, you'd assume everyone has access to food as long as they can afford it. Wrong. Food security is not just about money, and we saw this during early COVID when our supply chains couldn't even bring basic goods to the shelves. This highlights the biggest misconception about food security. It actually means food that is available, accessible, and used to fulfill our nutritional needs. Guess what? All of us can help make a change to solve these problems. First, buy your food locally because shorter the trip, less the waste produced. Manage your food stocks. Our eyes are often bigger than our stomach, so only buy what you can consume. Cook your leftovers. It's actually a fun and creative process. Take part in your very own MasterChef Mystery Box Challenge. Buy ugly. Food does not need to be pretty to be edible. Check your local supermarket for the ugly aisle and buy that poor carrot. Another way to make a change is to join your local food rescue initiatives. They help prevent food from going to landfills by distributing it to people in need. Dr. Daisy Tam introduced us to Breadline, an initiative in Hong Kong where a web app is used to connect volunteers to bakeries to collect surplus food for the needy. And here are some bonus activities. Feed your mealworms with your food leftovers using the Hive Explorer. And educate yourselves. Visit the FAO to learn more about food sustainability, Foodworks to learn more about food rescue, and download our free lesson sample below. If you enjoyed this video, do check out Misplaced by Livin' Farms.